Most people who study mathematics have an end goal. Most people who go to college have some type of end goal. You go to college, you get a degree, and then when you're done, you try to find work because unfortunately, we do need money to survive in the world. In this video, I'm going to discuss getting a job after graduating if you have a math degree. And this video is 100% inspired by a very recent email that I received from a long-term subscriber here on the channel, and his name is Zachary. I'm gonna start this video by reading his email and then doing my best to answer the question. As always, if you have any advice for this person, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Remember, when you leave comments, it helps other people, and that's a good thing, right? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and read the message carefully and do my best to answer it. It's a tough question and I haven't read the entire email, but I kind of glanced at it. So here we go. The subject is getting a job after graduating in math. And the message reads as follows. Hello, Math Sorcerer. I'm a longtime viewer of the channel and I really enjoy how you blend both traditional math education content and videos giving advice about math. I was wondering if you could help me out with a roadblock I have. I have recently graduated back in May 2024 with a bachelor's in mathematics from Vanderbilt University, and I've been looking for jobs for the past few months. I understand that looking for work is not easy and takes time, but I'm wondering if there comes a point where I should consider different options. I didn't do internships during college, so my current experience on my resume is mostly volunteer work rather than traditional work or internship experience. Although teaching math is a rewarding experience for some, I personally don't think I would enjoy it and I am looking into work in other quantitative areas so he doesn't want to teach. However, I'm wondering what my chances are for getting jobs in fields like finance, CS, engineering, data science, etc with just a math bachelor's. I didn't plan on going to grad school since I'm kind of burned out from school. And because I was able to graduate from undergraduate with no debt due to my scholarship and help from my family. So I don't want to get into potential debt from trying to get a master's. How strongly do you think a master's will make a difference for me in terms of getting employment? And do you think I should switch focus towards a master's or is my math bachelor's strong enough to help me get my first job? Let me know if you need more information to better answer my question. And I would be happy to send anything like a resume, transcript of classes, etc. Thanks so much. Wow. So I, I do have a lot to say. I have all kinds of advice. And I, I mean, I think it's good advice. And a lot of it's based on uh, not so much myself, but you know, people I've known who've applied for jobs, people who have graduated with degrees in math, uh, people who have graduate degrees in business and English, and they have gone on and they have had successful jobs and lives and careers with simply just a bachelor's degree in pretty much anything. Math, I think, is a good place to have a bachelor's degree. It shows that you can think. It shows that you have a, a strong mind. It shows that you have a strong work ethic because math is hard. So. Yes, I do think that you can get a job with just a bachelor's in math. You talked about a couple fields you're interested in, finance, CS, engineering, data science, etc. So something that somehow involves math but not teaching. So yeah, you can definitely do that. Um, I would say just go on job hunting websites like you know Indeed, or although Indeed has a lot of fake jobs. But it's better if you actually go to the company websites, like if you know where you want to work and you look at those specific job websites, that way you know the job is legit and good luck. So here's the bad thing about applying for jobs. It takes forever, right? You're going to have to apply for a lot of jobs and you're pretty much competing with the entire world, right? Who is applying for this job. So it's going to take some effort. It's going to take you some time. I would say it might take you several months to find a job you really want. My advice would be to go specifically to 
the, the, the companies that you want to work for and look there as well. Okay, so like if you want to work at Amazon, look at the jobs they have. You know, if you want to work at Microsoft, look at the jobs they have. You're going to find that you're probably not qualified for a lot of these jobs. A lot of these jobs, even though they're entry level, they want experience and they, they, ha they want skills that you probably don't have because you didn't study those specific subjects. So it's going to be hard, but once you get in the door, you see, once you get in the door, then you can start to grow more and perhaps further expand your career. So my advice would be get in somewhere, find the job so you can start making some money and try to find something that you don't hate, right? Something that you can wake up in the morning and you can go and see how it goes, right? Maybe you'll like it, maybe you won't. And that's one of the hardest things about life is, you know, figuring out how, how, how to make it in the world because we all have to work, we all need money. And you're going through that transition phase now where you've just got your bachelor's. And so my advice would be get a job ASAP. It doesn't matter in what, in what, but start making money. And the closer it is to your field, the better. Remember, you can always leave a job. So for example, let's say you find a job, um, I, I don't know, um, as a financial advisor, let's say, right? Because you mentioned finance. Let's say you manage to get a job at Fidelity. They're always hiring and a lot of times um, they'll help you uh, with, with your testing, like with your Series 7 and stuff like that. So you could get a job there. It's not easy, but you, you might get a job there. That puts you in the finance world. That gets you in the door. Uh, maybe you get a job at another bank, right? That gets you in the door. As long as you can get in the door somewhere and then you can see what interests you because every job is different, you know? And you're going to find that a lot of times these jobs, it's about who you work with. It's not so much about, I mean, it is about what you're doing, but in my experience, the most rewarding jobs I've had, well, teaching has been the most rewarding, but that's because of the people. It's because of the students, right? So it's who you work with, I think, um, that, makes, that makes a big difference. So yes, you can do it. It's gonna take, take some time. Get in the door somewhere, get a job somewhere, start ASAP, and remember that you can transition. So when, once you're somewhere, you can still grow and you can still learn more skills. So for example, maybe you'll get a job at, at some engineering firm doing something, some quality control that's really easy. You're not really doing any math, but you're working with engineers and they're doing some stuff. So that gets you in the door and then maybe you can start to learn some new skills. Maybe you can apply some of your math skills you know, to help and, and, you know, and, and learn other things. So you're in a good place. Um, you didn't say how old you were, but I'm assuming you're young and you have no debt. And it's time to get to work, my friend. I think you're gonna think you're gonna do great. I think you're gonna do great. If anyone else has advice for Zach, uh, you know, leave a comment in the comment section below. You know, most of the stories you hear about you know, people getting getting jobs after college, a lot of times they're negative. Like, oh, I went to college and you know I didn't get a job and I couldn't find one and I have this useless degree and all that. But it it, it does help. Oh. As far as your other question, your, your master's degree question, my advice would be no. Okay, my advice is no, not right now. Uh, focus on getting a job first. And the reason I say that is because you specifically mentioned that you didn't want to teach, right? So if you wanted to teach, I would give you completely different advice. I'd say maybe try to get a PhD or there are programs that have funded master's programs. They're, they're more rare and you might have to move, but they do exist. But you don't want to teach, right? So just get in the door somewhere and then grow from there. You never know what you're gonna end up doing. There are lots of people in the world who have math degrees that have done completely different things besides teach math, right? I, I taught math for a long time, and, but there's a lot of people that have taught math and have done other things. Um, a good example would be Jim Simons, right? He passed away uh, fairly recently. Uh, he was a, a mathematician who retired or quit his job to start his own hedge fund, and he became one of the richest people in the world. Magic the Gathering uh, was a collectible card game. The creator of that also had uh, a math degree. So all kinds of people in the world have math degrees and they do all kinds of, of great things. And I think you have a math degree, so you're among them and you're in good hands. Anyways, I've ranted enough. If you have any advice for Zach, leave a comment in the comment section below. If you wanna learn math, check out my courses. They're on Udemy, but please use my links description uh, from the description of this video or from my website mathsorcerer.com and check out my Instagram, check out my X, check out my other YouTube channels, <laughs> Internet Sorcerer and my Spanish one as well. So yeah, anyways, big takeaway. You can do it, don't give up. Get in that door, Zach. Once you get a job and you, you get moving and you start working, you're gonna find other opportunities and it's gonna help you grow. Good luck.